guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well it is tuesday today and it is a baggy kind of jumper day today because i'm not really doing much so today's video is going to be a house update we had a very exciting delivery i think it was last thursday which was the sofa and um, if you guys watch my other videos you know we've been waiting literally months i think about four months for our sofa and um, obviously it's understandable with what's going on but I'm just so glad it's finally here. So I can't wait to show you guys that. I've also got a few other um, stuff around the house I want to show you that I've done. So like we've got new cushions for the sofa. Um, we've put up a mirror for the hallway. And just some other bits around the house. I'm going to film this in two parts because I really wanted to get a video up today. So I feel like I haven't done one in a while. I think it's probably been about a week, <laughs> which is long to me. Um, but there's a few other stuff that's coming, I think, tomorrow within the next few days. So yeah, I'm going to film this in two parts. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and please also like and subscribe. Enjoy. Ta -da! So this is the new sofa. I've been literally so excited to show you guys because we've been waiting about four months for this to arrive. So this sofa is from Furniture Village. When I say I am literally the world's most um, indecisive person there is so I spent so long I went to every single sofa shop you can find to try and find the perfect sofa it took me weeks to decide so here it is this is called the legend sofa um, and it's from furniture village as I said it costs about £1,000 and then we also paid £200 for the insurance just to cover any stains and stuff it came with the leg rest um, only bad thing about it is you um, this bit of the cushion just comes off so you can't like open it and store stuff and that would have been really handy with Jackson's toys but it's fine I'm not going to complain uh, so I'll go closer so you can see the material is kind of like a suede fabric -y. I don't really know what you would call this but it's just perfect it's like a grey beige colour um and yeah i just love it because at the minute all these sofa places seem to be selling is like the crushed velvet and i don't know about you but i don't really like that so i've been trying to find a different kind of material and this is just perfect i'm happy with it so let me know what you guys think i also wanted to show you guys my beautiful new cushion covers how gorgeous are these so these were kindly gifted to me by a company called b bedley and they basically sell really lovely luxury um cushion covers and throws at an affordable price so i'll put a link to their website down below but i just love them it's like the perfect size this is like a velvety material and it's so soft and i also got with it two of these cushion covers which are like a creamy creamy material beigey material which are so beautiful i don't know whether i'm going to put it on the sofa i think i'm going to put this either in the spare room or our room just because i didn't realize our sofa when it turned up is a little bit more gray so i don't know if it goes so that might go in the spare room um, i'm trying to think of what i could put with the black so i'm thinking maybe a color might be nicer um so maybe like a baby blue or like a dusky pink i don't know i'd love to know your thoughts but if you're looking for some cushion covers at affordable price, then definitely check out Be Bedley because these are beautiful. Okay, guys, so you ready to see the new mirror in the upstairs hallway? Da da! How amazing, you guys. I'm literally obsessed with this. Come up so you can see closer. Hey. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm over the moon. This is probably one of my most favourite purchases i think i've ever done um so this mirror is from a company called william wood mirrors it's the same company where i bought the downstairs mirror um in the living room i really love the kind of window kind of look this was i think it was a hundred pounds which i think is quite good to be fair i mean i don't mind spending that much money on a mirror because i feel like it's worth it because i'm not going to be changing this for a long time so yeah i'm so happy with it i also wanted to just quickly say if you have like similar home style interior style to me then just rest assured that everything i've purchased has been like well researched like i've pretty much spent like hours looking up the best company the reviews making sure it's the cheapest one so if you're thinking about buying anything that's in my home, just so that you know, I have done my research on it. Yeah, just thought I would let you know that because I've kind of done the job for you. 
but yeah i really hope you love the mirror and um, also i'd love to know your advice or um, any ideas on what colors to go for for the blinds here because um i am thinking maybe just to keep it simple with white normal blinds the same that are in the other bedrooms um i was thinking to maybe go for like a pattern like stripes um, and maybe go for like the fabric-y blinds, but you wouldn't be able to hide the um, window things. We're not changing them, but they're really ugly and old um, with the fabric ones because you'd want, I want to keep them up. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe just to go for plain white, simple blinds, but let me know, let me know your thoughts. Okay, so now I'm going to take you into Jackson's room and just show you what I've done here. Um, please bear in mind, it's not finished. There's still lots to do here, but I just wanted to show you a few bits that I've done. So let's start off with this little shelf here. How cute is this? So I got this from um, Etsy. It was about £23. It's lovely, but I don't know if I'd recommend it because it's just so small. And I kind of was using this for a shelf. I was going to put like a plant. You pretty much can't fit anything on it. <laughs> um it is lovely and it looks really nice but it's just really small so yeah just bear that in mind if you're thinking of ordering that so i can't remember if i've showed you this bookshelf yet i know i've showed it to you but i don't know if you've seen it on the wall so here we are i still need to like buy some new books and rearrange it all but i'm so happy with it um and i've also bought this lovely sign here how amazing um this obviously it's on the cardboard now so that needs to be taken off and it's going to go above there i bought it off a company on instagram called live wire designs i think that's what it's called i'll link it down below um but i spent ages researching and looking for the cheapest one and she was she done it really cheap i think it was about 17 pounds but everyone else on etsy were doing it for about 30 so and she can do so many different ones so definitely check her out different colors different writing all of that uh but yeah i can't wait to put that on the wall i don't even know how you put it on i think you stick it or something like that so that's just another thing i bought um also another thing i bought um and i was feeling a bit creative with this um i always just get random moments of wanting to like make something myself a bit of diy <laughs> i'm not very good at it but basically so i've been looking for like a toy box for jackson to put all his toys in um I really liked the ones from my first years or our first years, I can't remember what it's called, um, where they're like personalised and they have like his name on it. But they were literally about £120 and I was like, mate, I do not have that kind of money for a toy box. Like I wish I did. <laughs> so I went to home base yesterday and I found this and this is pretty much the exact same, just without the writing and the text and stuff like that. And this was £35 and I just thought I could probably do it myself and actually do it exactly how I want it. So I thought what I would do is order like the wooden letters. Um, I'm not going to paint or anything like that. So I'll probably just get them ready painted, maybe like baby blue or pattern and then just get it here. So just stick them down with glue and then I can put a nice um, cushion on top of it. If you're on a budget and you're trying to do up a nursery, that's just an idea because you know you're saving money here why are you gonna why are you gonna spend 120 pound when you can do it yourself i need to i keep going on about these radiator covers i am gonna order them tonight and just get it over and done with um i'm also need to find space for these this um was in his old nursery i got this from darnell or the range i can't remember so once i get his armchair there i'm thinking to put it up here or something like that like above the armchair i don't really know I don't have a clue um and i also got this from home since i got this like a year ago 15 pounds and i don't know where that's going either so lots to do i picked up um more of these i don't know what you would call them but i kind of had an idea this was from the range i've got these in the mirrors downstairs to put it above here but it just doesn't look right <laughs> so i'm thinking actually to scratch that and put these above this mirror here who knows? I'll come up with something for these. I don't really know what I'm doing with them, but I just really liked them. <laughs> so that's that for this room. So as you know, we are doing up our garden um, and we're starting with the decking next week. James is basically doing that as like a birthday present for me because I'm having like a social distancing, distancing gathering with my friends. Um, and so I really wanted that to be done before. So we're starting with the decking, we'll do the rest over time. But I popped to TK Maxx yesterday and I found this. How nice is it? 
<laughs> I just really loved it. It was £12, I think £12.99, and it says ice cold drink. So really cool if you're having like a garden party. Um, so I've started to get a few bits for my birthday over to you. I'm not going over the top with it because it's it's not a big birthday. I'm 27, and obviously with what's going on, I can't have that many people around. Um, but I am going to decorate and make it pretty because it's the first kind of party I've had in this house since we moved in. Um, and we haven't, we didn't have one in our old place because it was too small. So it's kind of like a housewarming birthday thing. So I've ordered some really cute decorations. So what I'm going to do is maybe do like a little birthday video. So I won't film the birthday, but I'll just show you like decorating. Cause I think I always find that really interesting. Like I watch, um, I think it's Ellie Darby. Whenever she has like a party, I literally love the videos of just watching her decorate. Um, so yeah, so that's just one thing I bought. I also bought this really nice throw to go on the patio furniture. It was from TK Maxx. Again, it's so soft. They're really good for like garden, I'm not garden, but like throws. This was $16.99. Um, so TK Maxx is basically HomeSense, but it, we, do, we don't have like a massive one near us. So I am going to go to HomeSense because they're really good for like outdoor stuff and then more base, like home base. So I will go back to that. Um, I got these air filled decorations that say 27. So the kind of theme I'm going for party theme is like silver and pastels. So I've ordered a load of stuff from Amazon. So I'll, I'll show you that when it arrives. I just got these square bowls, pretty random. That's from Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's is actually rubbish for this sort of stuff. They were so expensive. I got these kind of straws. They were £2 from Sainsbury's and this little snack tray. Quite random, but I've also ordered like a don't little donut wall. Um, and I'm looking for like a little cupcake stand because I feel like it's good to buy this stuff because we're going to be having so many little gatherings here, like for Jackson's birthdays and stuff like that. So it's always good to have. So I just thought I would show you that. Uh, you guys know I've been looking for a plant for this for so long. Um, so I bought this from Matalan um, and they did have a few plants in Matalan, but they were quite expensive. So I thought I would try a few other shops and I just couldn't find one. So in the end, I went back to Matalan and I got one. I think this is pretty much, this was next to this. So it's probably just like the perfect size and stuff like that. Um, it was like £25, so maybe, I mean, I don't know, maybe that's just what you pay for these things. I guess you have it for life, it's a fake one. But how lovely. I really love it. It just adds some lovely pop of greenery to the room. So that's all for today, guys. But I really hope you enjoyed the video and you loved everything I bought. I will link everything that I bought in the description below. And if you did enjoy it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and please also like and subscribe. And also, if you're not already, please give my Instagram a follow, Rebecca's Home, because I'm always posting things on my stories. So yeah, have a lovely rest of the day. Bye.